Hello class, in this video we're going to make our one point perspective room. The first thing I wanted to do is choose my background color. I can do that by clicking with two fingers on a trackpad or right click with a mouse. That gives me the option to give it a background instead of the transparent grid. I'm just going to start with a white background. Then I want to draw my room in one point perspective. So I'm going to go up to the line tool and I'm going to draw an X by clicking and then dragging to the other corner. Then I'm going to make another one from this corner and drag it to the opposite diagonal corner. Then I'm going to go to the shape tool and get a rectangle and I want to try to line up the corners so that they're on the X. So when I click and drag it, I want to make my corner match it on the top and then bring it down, make them match on the bottom. Then I can change my color. Now if you want your walls different colors, instead of just plain white, I might want my room to have maybe light blue walls. These ones though are more difficult to change because the ceiling is going to change with the whole background. So maybe you just want the floor a different color. There is an optional tool in the lines called Polyline. What I will do is I'll trace this trapezoid shape. So I'm going to click to one corner, to the next corner, the next corner, the next corner, and back to where I started. That has traced that shape for me and made it a different color. Maybe I want my floor to be red. Or maybe I want it kind of to look like wood or something. You can do that to the other walls too if you want those different colors. So I'd go to the polyline, click in each corner. And then maybe my walls will all be that blue. Then if I want, I can do it to that third wall, and then maybe I just leave my ceiling white. So now I've had my walls, I want to decorate my room. I'm going to do that by inserting transparent background pictures. So I'm going to go to Insert, Image, I'm just going to search the web, and say I want a rug. If I just type a rug, sometimes they have backgrounds to them and sometimes they don't. And so if I clicked on this rug and inserted it, it's going to give me all this extra stuff I don't want. So I'm going to undo. When I insert my image, I want them to have transparent backgrounds. So I can type transparent background. And it will give me rugs that don't have anything in the background. So maybe I like this nice circle rug here. You can either press insert or click and drag them. And this is too big, so I want to click it. Oops, I'm on the line tool still. So I want to make sure I'm on the select so that I can click, resize, and get my rug to fit on my floor. Then I maybe want a lamp in my room. To search for other things, I could do the same thing, but change the word rug to the object I'm looking for, like lamp. But maybe I don't like any of these lamps. If you don't find things you like this way of searching, you can also search right at Google. So I just open another tab. 
when I go to images, it gives me lots of lamps, but not all of them have those transparent backgrounds. So I can go to tools, color, and then transparent. That automatically filters it so that I have lamps with transparent backgrounds. So maybe I like this lamp, it's nice and fancy. And I can tell it has that transparent background because it has that grid. So I'm just going to copy. You can either click to get copy or do control V. Go back to my picture and paste. And now my lamp's in here. I might need to resize it so it fits in my room. Put it in the corner. And I'll keep decorating until I'm happy with my room. You can design whatever type of room you like, whether it be a bedroom, a living room, a kitchen, and just keep adding things until you're happy with your design. So maybe I want this to be a living room. I'll look for a couch. And I see some nice options in here. I like this fancy leather couch. Let's look at that. Oh, but that didn't have a transparent background. Sometimes that does happen even when you type that in. So I'm not going to use that one. I might go the Google way and put in couch. Making sure in my tools that the color is set to transparent. So it's only giving me transparent background ones. And let's see if I can find a leather couch like that. Or maybe I change my mind and pick a different couch. Oh, I kind of like this one. It's got that transparent background, so I can click or control C to copy. Then go back to my picture and control V to paste. It's a little big, so I'm going to go to the corner to resize it. And I got my couch. Now I might move my lamp though because now it's kind of like on top of each other. So sometimes when you add something you might adjust something else. My walls are pretty bare so I might add pictures or windows or doors to them. So maybe I have a window. Oh that's a fancy window here. I wonder how that will look in my picture. Huge. Let's slice it down. Whoop. Whoop. And we've learned some things with our other projects like order. So if the couch I want in front of the window, I can click on the couch and then tap with two fingers or right click with my mouse and go to order and bring my couch forward. So now the couch is in front of the window. So you guys have fun creating your own rooms, and I look forward to seeing them all. I kept working on mine a little more, and I found this cute dog. So I wanted to show you another tip. If you want something to face the other way, so I want him flipped, I can also click it and go to rotate, and I'm going to flip him horizontally that's left to right so he's facing the other way in my room maybe make him a little smaller so there's lots of little tricks in Google drawing if you can't figure out how to do something feel free to message me too all right here's my final design hope you like it